Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Alice Cherie. If you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a return subscriber, hey, booze, you're probably wondering, girl, you ain't dropped the video in over five months and you come on here looking like this? Yes. Yes. But I can explain and I'm here to explain. I'm, I promise I'm here to explain. And I know y'all probably tired of, girl, yeah, you finna go on and say you want to be consistent or whatever. But I have a legitimate excuse. It's not an excuse, but I'm here to let it know. Let it be known where your girl have been, what's been going on. So let's go ahead and get to this part of the video. So I'm going to be transparent with y'all. Um... Yeah, wait, let's 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 just stop that. Y'all probably wondering what's on my face. I have a peel off mask, a face mask, or whatever that I'm doing. Um, a little skincare or whatever. So while while I was doing that, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and do this life update video. Cause once again, I know I've been saying it, y'all probably tired of hearing it. I wanna I wanna get back to myself. I wanna continue to do my YouTube, but like I said, a lot has changed, a lot has updated, and we're for now. I'm finna spill a tea. I'm finna let y'all know what's been going on with your girl being. Um, so I don't even know where to start. Let's start off by saying I actually did vlog for y'all, but I end up not posting it or really editing the vlog. I actually deleted the footage for my birthday weekend. Like I actually recorded a pack with me, a maintenance vlog, a get ready with me. Um video and I didn't end up dropping it I don't know I don't know that's a different story for a different day but yeah I celebrated my birthday um as you know if you watch my get get to know me video my birthday is August the 7th your girl is a Leo um I actually celebrated my birthday in Houston with one of my good friends we actually shared the same birthday so we end up celebrating it together out there like I said I picked up the camera I vlogged and all that and I just didn't end up posting it and it'd be like that sometime and and that's okay and that's okay um then after celebrating my birthday um everything took a turn everything went to bats everything went to shit it seemed like um, I don't want to say my life just fell apart but would I let y'all know what I mean? Y'all probably like, yeah, it, it kind of did fall apart. Um, I don't think I ever told y'all um, about my mom. She was diagnosed with lupus like over 13 years ago. Um, if you don't know what lupus is, lupus is a type of disease, which is like a, an immuno disease. It, it kind of affects your immune system, affects your organs and all that. Make a long story short. Um, my mom moved out here closer to her where I'm at, where I'm at in Dallas, Texas for better health care, which she received. And I am thankful for the doctors, thankful for everybody that took care of my mom while she was out here. Um, I actually ended up losing my mom on August the 16th. Um, I was only back from Houston celebrating my birthday for a week. Only for a week. But before then, everything already started taking a turn with my mom's health and everything like that. Um, but once I came back from Houston, it seemed like everything happened so, oh look, it's starting to dry up. It happened so, 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 so fast. Um, my birthday, like I said, we celebrated my birthday the weekend of August the 4th or whatever. And then uh, we came back from Houston my mom ended up going to the hospital. Everything happened within three days, y'all. My mom ended up going to the hospital, ended up needing emergency surgery. She had the emergency surgery. Um, and then after that, everything just, everything really just started going downhill. Everything started going downhill. She went in into the hospital on the 12th or the 13th and she passed on the 16th. So yeah, losing a parent, 
it's hard. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. I wouldn't wish it on nobody. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy of losing a parent. I wouldn't. So with that happening, it's like I put YouTube and everything on the back burner. Of course, family come first. Family come first. Um, so yeah, me dealing with trying to plan my mother's funeral um, and take care of all of that because of course I was the, the person that's on her paperwork to to take care of everything, me and my dad or the stepdad. Um, so we got all that taken care of. And then, um, like I said, she passed out here in Dallas. So we actually got her body transported back from my hometown um, so they can take care of everything. And that was a hassle. I've never planned a funeral. And like I said, I, I wouldn't wish this, that feeling, that process on nobody, not even my worst enemies. Um, so yeah, with me trying to get all that taken care of, getting her body shipped back home, me driving back and forth four hours every weekend, if not every other weekend, trying to take care of paperwork, um, and deal with all that. That that was just a lot. But I'm better. I'm much better. We end up getting my mom cremated. Um, I actually have her right here around my neck. Um, and then I have like a display or whatever in my living room with her big urn or whatever her other ashes. So yeah. Um, that's the big life update. And then secondly, um, your girl got a new vehicle. Ah, I got a new vehicle. So yes, I ended up trading in my four door Hyundai Elantra. Nothing wasn't really, nothing wasn't wrong with my car. I was just, you know how when you want something, you see something, you start looking, it's like, oh, you eager to get it. And that's how it was. So I ended up getting a Jeep. I've always wanted a Jeep. It's not the Jeep that I want. But it's it's my Jeep, baby. It's my Jeep. I'm in a Jeep. I've always said I wanted a Jeep, so I called it my mommy SUV or whatever. So I end up getting that. Um, and then what else? Oh y'all. Oh y'all. Oh y'all. Oh y'all. Oh y'all. When I tell you this, you probably gonna be like, "Well, what was the point? What what was the reason? What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason, bitch? I don't need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? But under this here bonnet, I'm gonna do a little boop boop, a little picky peek, cause it's looking a little rough. Um, I end up getting my dress back. I did. I end up getting my dress back. Um, and it's actually a video on my YouTube channel that I actually posted with me combing out my dreads maybe a year ago. Yeah, I combed out my dreads last year. So it's a video of the whole process of me combing out my dreads um, and all that for me to end up getting them back. So it's been a month since I started them and I'm actually scheduled to get my hair retwisted this Saturday. So it's looking a little rough and then it's the ugly stage too. So I'm not really trying to show y'all that. But of course, I'll probably bring y'all along with me when I go get my retwist this Saturday. Um, and then uh, let me see what else is new. Um, of course, I'm still working. I'm still working in the doctor's office. Um, and that right there has been stressful um but i don't want to get too much into that but yeah it, it has been stressful um and of course me being a mother of to two kids a two-year-old and an eight-year-old um motherhood it's not always easy it's not always easy it's not always breezy but i'm thankful for my husband for being there because that is a big help of having somebody to help you along with that but yeah that's what's been pretty much going on that's been pretty much going on and that is my timer for me to wash off this um well peel off this mask or i can actually pull it off while i'm on the phone with y'all peel off this mask and then i'm gonna go in and then um wash my will rinse my face off with some warm water put my hyaluron hyaluronic acid on hopefully i'm saying it right and then go in with some of this glow recipe from pore tightener 
toner some of this toner and then this brightener or whatever and then a face moisturizer so yeah this is my little facetime i say facetime <laughs> skin routine nothing much nothing major and I also wanted to come on here and give y'all a life update of let y'all know of letting y'all know what's been going on, where your girl been. Ah, y'all, it's times when I'm still in disbelief that my mom is actually like really going off this earth, not here physically. Um, but what i can say is she served her purpose she served her purpose um i would say and i think she accomplished everything that she wanted to accomplish at the age she was at my mom was pretty young she's only in her 50s but hey death doesn't have an age doesn't have a limit on it so that's why I try to live life to the fullest. YOLO, you only live once. Um, but yeah, my mom, she served her purpose. She got to watch me cross two stages. Um, she got to meet her grandkids. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm very grateful and very thankful that my mama lived the life that she lived. So yeah, she taught me everything that she can teach me. Um... So yeah, she's one of the reasons on why I'm in the medical field. My mom was a registered nurse. Um, she worked in the hospitals. She worked in the nursing home. And then she also um, did home health with going to like the patient's houses, helping them bathe, do groceries and stuff for them. Um, so yeah, she did a lot, she did a lot. I have my moments when, you know, I'm just sitting alone and I cry, you know, just thinking of her. Um, thank God for Apple iPhones or whatever, because I still have some of her voicemails that's left on my phone um, from like two years ago. So anytime I want to hear her voice or whatever, I'll just go to my voicemail and I'll just play her little voices, her little voicemails and just listen to them just to hear her voice. So yeah i'm gonna go ahead and rinse this stuff off my face or my face um and finish my face routine and i guess i'll just check back in with y'all whenever your girl posts another video which will be soon because thanksgiving is literally next week and I need to go um, grocery shopping for that. Pick up some little knickknacks or whatever. So thank y'all for watching. Hopefully y'all understand why your girl wasn't able to post consistently. Like I said, I was going to post. But yeah, I guess I'll just check back in with y'all in the next video. Bye. Bye.